Today I'm going to tell you a story about Krishna saving the villagers and their three beloved sons. Lord Indra was the king of gods, controlled rain and thunderstorms. Indra had some vices. He was easily pleased and angered by the acts of those whom he considered beneath him. He was so power drunk, he forgot that even gods have karma of their own. Indra is an example of the fact that power, if not handled with humility, can corrode even gods. The people of Vrindavan were dependent on agriculture and cattle for their living. Abundant and timely rains were crucial for their livelihood. And this made Indra an important god for the people of Vrindavan. In the years that witnessed good rains, they would hold a grand celebration to thank Indra. In the drought years, they would hold perform offerings to appease him and plead forgiveness for any sins that they may have committed. One year saw particularly good rains and the whole Vrindavan was full of greenery. The villagers, in consultation with Krishna's father, Nanda, decided to hold a grand celebration to thank Indra. On the day of the festival, people got up early, cleaned their houses and decorated the whole Vrindavan with flowers and lights. Krishna was unaware of this because he was fast asleep in his house. When he got up, he got to know about the festival. He told them that it's not Indra who is responsible for the rains, but it's a nearby mountain called Girigovatan. He explained that when rain-bearing clouds come close to Govardhan, they are stopped by the mighty mountain and this sheds water for our fields and ponds. So tell me, who is, who is responsible for our sustenance, Indra or Govardhan, asked Krishna. The villagers could not help but agree with Krishna. Nanda too reluctantly agreed. When Indra got to know about this, he, he decided to punish all the villagers. He invoked all the clouds to flood Vrindavan. The villagers were facing a heavy downpour. The villagers were seeking for Krishna's help. So they gathered up in Nanda's house. Krishna assured that Girigovardhan will come to the rescue. He took them to the foot of the mighty mountain. Then he lifted it up with his little finger on his left hand. He asked everyone to take shelter and shelter underneath it. It rained continuously for seven days and seven nights. Wanting to give Krishna some rest, the villagers put up long sticks to balance on the mountain. He, the villagers requested Krishna to leave the mountain and take some rest. Krishna smiled but agreed to their demand. As soon as he moved his finger, all the sticks broke. The villagers requested Krishna not to leave the mountain. Indra had witnessed all this. He realized the child holding the Govardhan was none other than Supreme Lord Vishnu. He ordered his five-headed Airavat to come down from heaven and surrender before Krishna. Krishna forgave him. All the villagers worshipped worshipped Krishna for his greatness. The moral of the story is ego, pride and anger always leads to sufferings. Jai Shri Krishna.